Have you watched Netflix Three Body Problem? Is this a real phenomenon? So I have read the book a long time ago when it first came out. The first book, The Three Body Problem by Chixin Liu, a Chinese uh, science fiction writer. Great book. Very, very good book. And uh, recently a Netflix thing came out, documentary, uh, not documentary, uh, a series, right? I think I saw a couple of episodes of that. And uh, so what is the th- three-body problem is the question. Is it a real phenomenon? So the three-body problem is a bound state problem. It's a Newtonian bound state problem. So bound state problems can be solved in a variety of ways. You can use, if it's the Earth-Moon system, for example, or the Earth-Sun system, you can just use Newtonian mechanics to calculate the orbit and all that. Calculate the size of the orbit, the periodicity of the orbit, and so on and so forth. We have Kepler's laws, which are part of Newtonian mechanics, celestial dynamics, and so on. You can compute orbits and trajectories and whatnot using the Newtonian uh, using Newtonian physics. You can also actually solve the Schrodinger equation for the Earth Sun system or the uh, Earth Earth Moon system. Using a gravitational potential. Okay, that is complicated. I'm, I'll not go into that. Sounds complicated. You don't know what a gravi- gravitational potential is and so on. But you can actually you solve this bound state problem not using Newtonian mechanics, but using the quantum formulation, the Schrodinger equation. That also works. But it's a bound state problem. Earth, Sun or Earth, Moon. Now, instead of a two-body problem, Earth, Sun, let's say we solve, we try to solve a three body problem. Somewhere in space, there are three gravitating objects. They are close to each other, which means they feel the pull of each other's gravity. So it's not a bound state of two objects, two gravitating objects. It's a bound state of three gravitating objects. That's the three body problem. Now, that is something that typically doesn't have a stable solution. There are a few stable solutions, but most solutions are unstable solutions, which means that the bound state, the bound state is unstable. It breaks up. It will evolve for a time and then it will break up. It is unstable. So it is a bound, so it's not a bound state actually. Now, there are a bunch of solutions that, and, and it's very difficult. It's a very chaotic system. It's very hard to, to, to find solutions. Uh, from the Newtonian perspective. Now, if you want to see what some solutions look like, I could do that. Um, Okay. So this is an image that represents a few stable solutions to the three-body problem. As you can see, each of these these, uh, images represents a three-body system. And it has stable solutions, which means that the bound state remains stable. It doesn't break up. What does it mean for a bound state to break up? It means that one one or more of these objects will fly off into space and not return together, not come back into the the system. So these systems that you are seeing, these solutions are stable solutions. And they can persist indefinitely. And recently, I believe uh, some methods, some, some, Physicists or mathematicians derived a whole bunch of more solutions, maybe 12,000 or so solutions to this three-body problem. So overall, it's a, it's a chaotic and unstable system. And that's uh, the premise behind this, this uh, the science fiction book and the series, the three-body problem. So yes, is it a real phenomenon? Yeah, you take three bodies, three objects, gravitating objects of reasonably similar masses, you're going to have a chaotic system which typically will break up over time. So it's a real phenomenon. But the the what what whatever else is depicted in the story, in the science fiction story, will the 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 unfold of photon and all that that is in the realm of science fiction for sure. Okay? So we don't know we don't know if a proton can be unfolded the premise is that there are lots of hidden dimensions, multiple dimensions, string theory premise, maybe t- maybe 10 dimension, dimensions, maybe 11, maybe 26 dimensions. And maybe this alien uh, civilization has, has the technology to unfold the dimensions and engineer the inside of a, of a proton. So that sort of thing. And then there is some stretching of, of quantum mechanics in there when they, when they say that you can, uh, you can have 
a quantum entanglement in which there is transmission of information that is not right so that it's not how it works so some of it is is fiction some of it is actual science 